Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be sitting down and filming today's video and the reason being is because I love supporting smaller brands. I am a small business owner. I love supporting other small businesses, whether it's jewelry, whether it's makeup, whether it's hair, like no matter what it is, I just have so much respect for people that try and build their own business and try and be entrepreneurs. And basically today's video, I'm gonna be trying out Sydney Grace and she, the owner is Heather, but um, Heather makes the single shadow, she makes glitter shadows, she makes blushes, highlighters, everything. And I've been watching her Instagram page for such a long time because she does live swatches of finger swatches and then she does brush swatches as well. I don't know about you guys, but nothing pisses me off more than when I see a beautiful eyeshadow and I see a finger swatch and it's beautiful. And then when you go in with a brush, it's like the most disappointing thing in the world. If you guys go to the Instagram page, I'll link it down below. You will see all the swatches and how blinding they really are. And this company just has so many beautiful pigments and shadows that I've been dying to try them out. They are cruelty free and paraben free and they're made in the USA. So they came out with their first ever eyeshadow palette and it's called Autumn's Rain and she was sweet enough to send it to me. So thank you so much Heather for sending this over because I, I've been dying. She's been doing like sneak peeks on her Instagram page for months now and I'm just, I'm dying over this palette. If you open it up, it has a mirror over here and then if you guys look at the inside, look how beautiful these shades are right here. If this doesn't scream fall and winter, I don't know what does. This palette just makes me excited and it makes me want to create so many different looks and that's why in this video I'm going to create two different ones for y'all. So I'm going to do a warm toned look and a cool toned look and I just have so many different ideas in mind. This eyeshadow palette is currently available and has 15 different shades inside of it and it is $52. Now you may look at it and be like, whoa, $52 is a lot of money when other big brands are cheaper than that. So the thing about it is she's using her full size pans in here. So you actually get 27 grams of shadow in here. Meanwhile, in the soft glam palette and any of these like Anastasia palettes that are $42, you only get 10 grams, a little over 10 grams of product. It's insane that you get more than double the amount of product for just $10 more. So I just wanna mention that because I know you guys are gonna look at it like, wow, $52 is a lot of money, especially for a smaller brand, but you have to think about the amount of product that's in here. So this palette will last you years and years and years and years. So with all that being said, if you guys are interested on in seeing what look I create with this beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette, then let's just go ahead and get started in today's video. Before I start with today's look, I just put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids to prime them and I used the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Um, so now I'm just going to set it using the Queen of the North shade, which is this cream shade right here. And I feel like that's going to be a really, really good base for just any look in general. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little right there just to set my entire lid and make sure that nothing's patchy, nothing sticks to the concealer or anything like that. And now for my transition shade, I'm going to use the shade Palace, which is this light pinky shade right there. And I'm going to take that on my Sigma E38 brush and just put that kind of inside of the crease area. Zoomed you guys in so you could get a better idea, but that rosy pink shade is so beautiful as a transition shade and it's blending out perfectly so far. I'm not having any issues with patchiness or anything like that, but it is very, very pigmented. I've only dipped into this palette twice so far and that is very very nice oh okay we literally just lost power thank god it came back on but there's like a snow slash ice slash sleet storm outside so i'm not doing anything besides well there goes the printer everything turned back on get yourself suggested Welcome back. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's a snowstorm and it's sleeting and it's just disgusting outside. So I just decided to wake up early. It's like nine in the morning right now. Um, and I'm just filming because I'm doing nothing but being trapped inside. So here we are. Now the next shade I'm placing right on top of that one is called Countess, which is this one right here. It's like a grayish smoky lavender color. So it looks really, really pretty. I'm obviously doing the cool tone look before. Um, and then I'm gonna do the warm toned look after. Get on that same brush and just kind of work that into my crease, kind of build it up a little bit. I'm just gonna take that Countess color that we're working with and put it over here on my lower lash line, start smoking that out and connect the two. 
for this next shade, I'm going to switch brushes, and now I'm using my Sigma E25 brush. And the first color I'm going to use with it is Brilliant Realm, which is this one right next to that dusty lavender shade we used, which is more of like a dark purple. So I'm going to take that and just work it into my crease. I've only dipped into this dark purple shade once, and you guys can see how pigmented that is, but it's blending in so well with those other colors. Like, I almost just want to make this like a dusty lavender type of look, um, but I have something else in mind. So I'm going to continue going with what I want, but wow, these pinks and purples are blending out so pretty. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and take that color into my outer corner. Like, you guys can see just how pigmented. So I'm gonna pack it right there and then just blend it out. And then I'm also gonna smoke out my lower lashes with that shade as well. To help blend out the outer edges, I'm gonna go back in with Palace and just kind of smoke it out with that same Sigma brush we used in the beginning, just to kind of help tie everything together. I'm going to use the shade Majestic Breeze, which looks like a deep teal kind of bluish color. So I'm going to use that one um, in the exact same spot that we just used the Brilliant Realm color. So I'm going to take a little bit on the tip of this brush. I'm also going to build up this shade on the outer corner over here. It's going to be kind of like a halo eye, but more of like a messy halo eye. So I'm not like precisely putting anything down, but... Yeah, I'm just kind of building up the outer corner right there. And then I guess I'm gonna start, I need a smaller brush. I'm gonna start packing this shade into the inner corner right here. By the way, if you guys are wondering what brush this is, this is the Sigma E54 brush. It's just like a flat little, flat fluffy brush, if that makes sense. I don't really know. Now that I've laid down that darkest shade, I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and take the countless color which is this mauvey color that we took um or smoky lavender whatever you want to call it um and i'm just going to kind of help blend out the outer edges of that darker shade just so it kind of blends in a little bit better to that pink now i'm taking this brilliant realm color again and i'm just going to use it to blend out the outer edges as well of this dark blue shade now that that's all smoked out, I'm going back into Majestic Breeze, the darkest shade, and just deepening it back up. So now what I'm going to do is take a flat kind of shader brush for the lid, and I'm going to take the shade Moonlit Kingdom, which is this dark kind of shimmery shade on the bottom. Take that shade and blend it to the outer corner and the inner corner, but I wanna leave the middle of the lid out just for that pop because I have another shade I wanna put on top of it. So I'm gonna take that Moonlit Kingdom. I don't have any Fix Plus on my brush. We're just gonna test it out. Oh wow, that shade is stunning. You guys can see I don't have hardly any follow i have like one one little drop right there but that is a stunning that's with no fix plus either so i'm gonna take a little bit of that on the inner corner now i've already tried a shimmer shade without fix plus so now i'm going to try the center shade that we're going to use with fix plus so i'm going to spray my brush i cleaned it off so there's nothing on there and i'm going to take the shade wondrous night which is this gorgeous silver shade right there. And I'm going to take that on the center of my lid. I'm so excited. So that brush was from Alamar Cosmetics and now I'm taking the other one from the Alamar Cosmetics set and it's just a flat little definer brush. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Majestic Breeze right there and it kind of tight line right here underneath my lashes. I want to highlight my inner corner, so I'm going to use the Ofra Cosmetics Glazed Donut Highlight, and I'm just going to place a little bit right there just to kind of help tie this whole look together. So now it's time for liner and lashes, and I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Eyeliner, and then I'm going to use my Icon Lashes. These are in the style Drunk in Love, and they just look like this. So I'm going to take 
both of those do them both off camera and then I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look and we'll do the lip together. Now that the lashes and the liner is on, the eyes are complete. So I'm gonna use my NYX Natural Lip Liner to line my lips and then two different liquid lipsticks from Anastasia and one of them is Pure Hollywood and the other one is Milkshake. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on, show you guys what the finished look looks like and then we can move on to the warm toned look. All right, so this is look number one. All right, she is back and just ignore the hair because I'm over it. Um, we're gonna do a warm toned look now. So I'm gonna start off the same way by using the Queen of the North, which is this shade right here, just to make sure everything is nice and set. Again, that palace shade right... This is just a struggle trying to film with a storm outside, but we're gonna move on to palace. This is the first shade we're going to use. that shade is blended out, I'm going to take the shade Supreme Harvest, which is like a burnt orange type of shade right next to it. And I'm going to take that on that same brush. This is just a Morphe brush from like a brush collection. It doesn't have a certain number, but it's just a really good fluffy brush. So I'm going to take that and work it into my crease. I'm gonna start working that Supreme Harvest color onto that outer corner right here. Now the next shade I'm going to take is Golden Wheat, which is this brown shade right here. And I'm going to take that on a Sigma E25 brush and just kind of use that to build up the crease in the outer corner. I wanna deepen up the outer corner a little bit more, so I'm gonna use Brilliant Realm, which is this shade right here we used on the first look. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Supreme Harvest right here and just smoke out that outer edge just to kind of deepen up that reddish kind of color. I'm gonna take this Luxie 131 brush and I'm going to smoke it out using that Supreme Harvest color as well. And then the Palace light pink color to kind of smoke it out even more. So just kind of connecting down here and up on top. Now I'm going to really build up that Brilliant Realm color right here on the outer corner, just really focusing it right there and then bring it down underneath right there. So I'm using this packing brush from Sigma, it's the E54, and it's the one that we used on the previous look to pack in that Midnight Breeze color. So I'm gonna use it for Brilliant Realm, really just focus it right here. Oh my God, this hair is driving me crazy. And then on the outer corner on the bottom. On the middle of my lid, I'm going to take this shimmery shade called Amber Jewels, and it just looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that right there in the middle of my lid. I'm gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus, and then just pack it on there. packing on that amber jewels color which is absolutely stunning so now I'm going to go back into this one which was the outer corner shade and just kind of blend the two shades together on the rest of the lid and the inner corner I'm going to pop it off with golden scepter which is this color right here it looks so beautiful and I'm so excited it's like a pure gold so I'm gonna go ahead and take that with some fix plus again we lost electricity again for a hot minute, but now I'm back. Um, I'm gonna spray this flat brush from Alamar Cosmetics with some Fix Plus, and I actually want to take the purple shade inside of this. Chris, do you mind? <laughs> um, we're gonna take the purple shade inside of this palette, which is Sovereign, Sovereign, mm. Mm. this one, this one right here. We're gonna take that shade and we're gonna place it right here on our lower lashes because it is gorgeous and I feel like it's gonna look really good with this gold color. So we're gonna try and we're gonna see. All right, so this is the eye look and what we're working with now that we got the lashes on. And now for liquid lipstick, I'm using the NARS one in the shade Get It On and it's just a very brownish type of nude. 
So this is look number two right here, and that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me using a smaller brand eyeshadow palette. I personally really, really enjoyed it. They blended out so perfectly. They were so pigmented. I didn't have any issues with any of these, and the shimmers are so pigmented with and without Fix Plus. This palette just absolutely blew my mind, but I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup, well, both of the makeup tutorials. Thank you guys so much for checking out my channel today, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!